Um, I chose English literature because um, not only did it adhere to my analytical skill sets, but it also is the only class in A level where you can have a calm and a thorough discussion with your class. It really puts uh, the class at the forefront of learning, so um, classes are enjoyable and there's something to look forward to. I think it's one of those subjects that caters to a lot of different career um, paths because it's developing those key skills of being able to communicate effectively, form a coherent argument, be able to analyse in depth and defend your arguments um, thoroughly. Uh, for me, I chose English because it, it once again, you know, matched with what I wanted to do as a career. I wanted to go into journalism and it's a skill set. It, it, it requires a skill set where you are a very effective communicator, where you are um, very clear in terms of your writing and your uh, verbal communication. Um, yeah. Definitely, as Priya said, it's a really good subject if you really like arguing about different things and especially if you like reading, if you have a love for reading you should choose English literature, it's one of the best subjects for that. And um, in terms of like things that I find challenging, and many people will find challenging, is probably the jump between GCSE and A-level, because you're going to have to um, write in a different way. You're going to have to incorporate other different views from other people, other critics. So um, it's, it's those extra skills that push you towards that university level writing. And um, usually when you go to uni, you say, um, I read this subject and that's going to be really useful if for, for any subject that you do. It's going to have really adhere to a lot of the skill sets. Uh, on the point of that leap from uh, GCSE to A-level stage, uh, that can be quite um, a precipitous process and so um, it can be quite challenging in that sense but your teachers are always there as a safety net. Uh, so don't pack it. So don't panic if you forget homework or perhaps your homework is deficient in any way because your teachers are always there uh, to help you. Um, whether that be uh, to do with a novel, and each novel, each poem requires a different skill set. Mm -hmm. So uh, your English literature course is quite creative in that sense. Um, one thing that I do like about studying English at KHS specifically though is that there is that support mm. for essay writing yeah. and that support for um, that leap between GCSE and A-level. Um, you're given a lot of practice and you're given a lot of help with yeah. honing in on your essay writing technique and honing in on your ability to communicate very um, effectively in, you know, in time conditions and without time conditions as well. Um, I think there's also a lot of support in terms of understanding your texts, so teachers are willing to, you know, <laughs> come, come uh, allow you to kind of come to them afterwards and um, kind of counter and uh, discuss the text in valid yeah. depth if you want to do that. And there's the texts themselves that you're offered at A-level compared to GCSE, they're from so many different time periods and they kind of cover a lot of different ideas, so you will feel like quite challenged and also um, quite kind of you, you'll find the A-level syllabus very interesting and it will, yeah. it'll, that will never be a boring day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. What I'll say is um, once you start um, year 12 and once you know you've chosen English literature, then I would say just be consistent with it all the time. If you have like a few spare minutes, just go on like go online, read an article about a book you may find uh, that you're struggling on. Um, just be proactive with it as with any subject. At A level, you need to take your own initiative, and that needs to drive you through moments where you don't understand something. Of course, you should ask your teacher, but as well, you need to you need to have that proactive mindset and just be willing to to read outside of the text that you're doing, and that will surely improve your your learning of the subject.